Welcome back to Brothers Off Script. I'm Jerry. I'm Ryan. And today we are talking about jumping to conclusions and snap judgments. Uh, right before we get into that, please make sure you look down at the bottom of your screen, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. We're trying to grow the channel and we appreciate you watching. So let's jump to it. Yeah. Snap judgments. Um, I think that they are uh, they're an important way of life. I think that you're not going to, especially this day and age, um, I don't think any more people are just maintaining the status quo. I don't think we're all just wearing our three-piece suits and walking down the street and there's only one person going the opposite direction. I think you have just so many different opinions and viewpoints and right now you're on the red side or the blue side or the purple side or wherever you want. Silly, by the way. you want to be. Silly. They picked a side and they're sticking with it. But and nobody agrees with all of their own side anyway. No, no. It's just that person is an outlier and this is what they said that's right and this is what they said that's wrong. But they still want to make a judgment based on, I want to make the judgment based on who they follow and I want, and they're going to do the same thing to me. They're going to make that judgment. But, if I had to, I don't think anymore it's that hard to just pick one thing on a person and say this is the reason that this person's a bad person or a good person. It's a lot of factors. We're always getting, um, just take your Facebook feed for example. You know, if you have more than 15 friends who are just family, even if they're only just family, you probably still have this problem, but there's gonna be people on your feed who you would consider friends air quotes, friends, but not actually ever want to talk to this person because of their political opinion. And in the beginning of your relationship with that person, if it didn't start at birth, you have had nothing but opportunity to make judgment calls based on this person's opinions, mm -hmm. have conversations, and really discover what makes this person tick. But then you turn on Facebook one day and you're like, wow, this person's uh they have a different viewpoint than mine, and I think I'm going to judge them based on that. It wasn't it wasn't snappy. Like it took a little while to get there, but it happened, and it was like an overnight change or something. And now you're left wondering uh, what the what the, the validity of your friendship is. Mm -hmm. Is you're you're saying you know is this person if they're so different than me, how could I ever really have a conversation again? Because it's always just going to come back to that. And I'm sorry, it's political based here, but this, it happens. Is, this is not just, um, it's not just political when, you know, like you were saying before, uh, talking about someone in an interview, you know, if you, if you are the interviewer, you you're viewing this person come through the door and they're there basically specifically to impress you. Right. You know, it might just be your recommendation that gets them to the next stage of the hiring process. But if they come through, and they look like a bum, um, you could say, I really appreciate your time. Um, I think McDonald's is hiring. You know, I, they're still hiring 55 year old uh, people, so. And it applies to resumes too, right? right? So I'll talk just about the job interview. Is there respect. a font, you know? <laughs> uh, 12 point Times New Roman. Um, so I think a lot of people, and you see this in every interview advice video probably ever made. It says dress professionally. Every single one says dress professionally. Why? Because you're going to be judged on how you appear, right? If you haven't taken a shower and you smell bad, I don't want to work with you every day, right? Right? And that, you know what? People stinking is not discrimination. It's not federally protected. You don't have a, a federally protected right to smell bad. I use right? only I, wash your butt. I only <laughs> use the naturist nature leaves, and that's how I maintain my. <laughs> that's how I maintain my um, pH balance and my right my herbal essence. Well, I would say <laughs> I would say that that's a that's a really important one. But there's a there's another part to that. It would be if you were going to an interview, and let's say you were interviewing a a, a scrapyard or something like that. You're you're not expected to work in the three-piece suit, but if you show up in your three-piece suit and you also say, hey, I just want to let you know, I got my work gear in the back of my car, I put on my steel toes and mm -hmm. get to work right away, that would uh, probably actually help your case, even if it's a joke and they're not actually going to hire you right then. It does. But I, I've had one of the conversations I remember so clearly, I was talking with a young man, and uh, he had lived an adventurous lifestyle, 
mm -hmm. and he had done some adventurous drugs. And somewhere along the way, he had adventurously stuck several pieces of metal into his face and ears. Okay? Now, I, I can like the guy as a person. Right. And I can appreciate his bravery and his self-expression. But my advice to him was take the metal out of your face before you go to the interview at Target. Okay? Because Target doesn't want to see you look like that. Right. You look at the folks in their advertisements and they all look very preppy. Yeah. Right? Very Boy Scout, very Girl Scout. Okay? They got their khakis on. And they, they've got their shirt, khakis and their red shirt with the t-shirt underneath and the two buttons on the polo. Right? And they all look fit and trim. That's Same. who they want. Yeah. It's on the picture. Right? And if you've ever been to a restaurant and you ordered some stuff and it did not look like the picture, you were disappointed. Yeah. If you don't want to be on the receiving end of the snap judgment, look at the brochure, try and match the people in it, and there you go. That your, that's your job advice. It doesn't mean you can't get a tattoo. It doesn't mean you can't have different political opinions. It means in certain places, you need to make sure that you're going a certain way or you're never going to get past the front Well, door. just like in a relationship. I mean, your first date is your first opportunity to really screw things up, but it's also your first impression. And if you don't look like your profile picture or you said all the right things and then, you know, you, all you were doing was repeating lines from the latest rom-com and you, you got her to agree to the date and then you show up and you're already hammered you're just like i just need to let out some steam it's all good let's go to red lobster crab cakes you know like you look like a jerk you know that she's gonna make some snap judgments probably before you even get the appetizer served but she's still gonna you're not gonna get the second date so and they're not bad right snap are you talking snap crab cakes or? well crab cakes are fantastic i had some good ones last night yeah. but but snap decisions are not bad snap decisions are there to save your life right right is that a rock or and a stick, or is that a snake? Right? Snap judgment. That's how that's how your brain works. You look, is it dangerous? Is it gonna kill me? Can I eat it? Your human, right? your human instincts <laughs> have long since outweighed your uh, common decency that society has, has asked you to maintain. And that's that is where it all comes from. But given the opportunity, I will make the best first impression I can. And if I chose the wrong impression to make and there's no chance of recovery, well, I mean, now I have to move forward with that. But if that was a potentially life-changing job or something, then I'm, uh, I'm now at a loss and yeah. probably forever. So one of the interesting facts we have um, sitting on this side of the table, talking to a camera, looking at our videos each week is we know that people click on our videos Watch for two minutes. Watch for two minutes off. and click off, right? And that's okay. That's their choice. But they're making those decisions. And we all do that in our daily lives. And being coming, becoming conscious of them, of that, thinking about how those snap decisions are affecting you, and even being willing sometimes to ignore your instinct, mm -hmm. right? And listen a little bit longer can gain you a friend, a relationship, can add depth to your life, can potentially hire a good person. Right. Right? So there's a lot of pros and cons both ways to snap decisions. And it's just our awareness of them, the, the, the tint ability for other people to use those against us or for us, as well as our ability to use those against people or for people that we can, if we can be aware of it, maybe we can control it a little bit and try to be in the best position to have a good life. Right. Well, I, uh, I don't really have much more to go on. Fair yeah, enough. This is, uh, this is snappy. Um, let's, let's pick this up again next week. Sounds good. Thanks so much for watching guys. See ya.